Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about going into layout, combining auto text and scrapbooks to make automatically updating elements. So in our last couple of videos, we spent two of them talking about auto text, and we talked about making custom scrapbooks, uh, and this leans on all that. So I will make sure in the description to leave links to all three of those videos. You'll be able to find them down there. Um, cause what we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new element and it's going to involve a bunch of different pieces of auto text. We're going to save it into a scrapbook so that when we grab it out of our scrapbook and drop it onto our drawing, it just automatically updates. So pretty cool. And it's incredibly easy to do. Uh, and we're going to walk through it right now. All right. So first things first here, what are we looking at? We're looking at a model here. I'm sorry, a drawing with two different, uh, SketchUp model windows. Uh, one of them up here at the top is this cross section of a building. The other one is a cross section of the same building the opposite direction. You see the top one is called section one. It has a one inch equals 40 scale. The bottom one is called section two has a one inch equals 30 foot scale. So they are different scales. And I realize most people probably wouldn't present them on the same page as different scales, but this is intentional for learning purposes. I also understand if you're not familiar with the scale, this is a pretty small scale. This is one to 360. So that's not a that's not a something we use a lot uh, in in uh, drawings. Try to get a little bit bigger than that, but there's a small piece of paper in a big building. Uh, so anyhow, I you know I realize it. Learning purposes, folks. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a title block. So I want to create a brand new title block that sits right under here, and I want three things on here. One is I want a label for this drawing. So I want this to automatically increment too. So this is going to be drawing A. I want this one to be B. Whatever's on the next page is going to be C, D, E, F, G. You know how the alphabet goes throughout the model or throughout the document. So I want that to happen. I also want this scene's name to show up and then what scale it's at. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build that. So I'm going to start in here with the rectangle. I'm just going to drag a rectangle out like this. Beauty. I'm going to put like a squarish shape right there. And then right here, I'm gonna put uh, two more. So I want three sections here. This one's gonna contain the drawing name. This is gonna be the scene name, and this is gonna be the scale. So we'll start with the drawing name. I want, like I said, I want an automatic thing that when I drop it in, it just says A. And then when I drop it in again, it says B. So I'm gonna create a new auto text. I'm gonna go up to text, customize auto text. I'm gonna hit plus, and it's gonna be a sequence. So down here at the very bottom is this type called sequence. I'm gonna say add. And now I got to tell what it is. Uh, I'm going to call it, uh, we'll call it something like drawing num, even though it's not going to be a number, it's going to be a letter, but that's the name of it. That's what I want to call it. Uh, the style, I don't want to go one, two, three. I want to go ABC. So I'm going to choose that from the list. And now I'm going to say, where do I want to start? I'm going to actually do some kind of weird and say, start at zero. So what we're doing right now is we're going to create the item that happens before the first one we use. So this is the one that's gonna go into the scrapbook, which is gonna be zero. That way, when we pull the first one in, it's going to progress this forward from zero to one, which is the first letter in the alphabet, which is A, because it's gonna increment by one. So it's gonna go from not the real letter to the first real letter and then B, C, and so on. I want this to happen not per page, but per document. Now, if there's ever a situation where you start dropping these in, you drop in too many, you make a mistake, whatever, you can always use the renumber button to make the whole chain start over. If it, it's really easy to, to, to clean that up. Worst case, it's like, it's like SketchUp, right? Worst case, it's a text field, and if I have to manually number it, I can. But if I'm really good and I'm careful about dropping these in after everything's set up, it should automatically do it. It should be easy. So I'm going to say close. I'm going to grab a text box and just trace this little square. It's probably a rectangle, not a square. And I'm gonna to go to text, insert auto text, and I'm gonna go find that drawing num and just drop it right in. All right, when I click outside of it, it's gonna give me a letter right there. Uh, let's make that bigger, right? Let's, let's come into that text and I wanna make that significantly bigger. So I'm gonna to go to window, show fonts. We're gonna jump up to like maybe 24. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna put that M. Um, I'm actually going to use my arrow keys to just kind of bump that around till it's right about in the middle of that square. And then I'm going to close this up like that. That's what I want. So that M is where my A will be. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. All right. Now we got to put our C name in here. And that's exactly what the auto text is. is just C name, capital S, capital N, inside of caret brackets. 
uh, but we're not gonna put it in with text. This case, we're gonna use a label, and here's how I wanna put the label in. I'm gonna click over here to the right, just to the, really just to the right of this whole element. I keep saying element, I don't know what else to call this. Title block, title thing. I'm gonna click right here, and I'm gonna drag that back over here to the middle. I'm gonna click two times, and then I'm going to, in this, put in caret, scene, name, caret, like that, perfect. Uh, since I have this font up right now, let's bump this up to like maybe 14. Bold, bold's a lot, but you know, it's okay, let's be bold, let's, let's keep it bold, I like that, that was good. All right, so what's gonna happen is when I drop this into my drawing, wherever this arrow lands, whatever model window this arrow lands on is going to automatically populate what the scene name is in here. It's really cool, this arrow is kind of like magic, it just says pull the information out of whatever this dot is on, and it automatically puts it in there. Unfortunately, it's magic, but it's also ugly. This doesn't look very good. So what we're gonna do, is uh, we're gonna use the shape styles to change how our leader line looks. Now in here we can change things like the arrow at the start, the dot at the back. We could even change the stroke down to 0 0.1, but we can't make it disappear. There's not an option here to not show it. What we can do though, is we can make it invisible. So up here where it says stroke, if I click on this little button right here, um, this is where I would use you know whatever my preferred method is of changing the color, right now it's black. If I come to the color circle, I have this opacity slider. If I slide that all the way down to zero, watch as it, watch as it slowly disappears. Like that, that's perfect. So now I still know that this is the point that's gonna pick when I drop it in, but it doesn't show up. If I deselect it right now, it doesn't show it at all. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanna do. We're gonna do one more. Same thing, I'm gonna click over here to the side a little bit, drag, drag that back to the middle of this line segment. I, I got a little crazy with my zoom. All right, I'm gonna right about there. I'm gonna click again. And in here, I'm just gonna put carrot scale, sclay, scale. Sometimes, some, I'm, I'll be honest with you guys, I've had auto text not work because I haven't typed it right. Um, it happens, especially to me. I'm not good at typing. All right, so there we go. We got our scale and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select this and same thing. We're just gonna hear, come here, get the color, pass you down to zero. Awesome, that looks perfect. Okay, so this is now the thing. This is the thing that I want to put into my scrapbook. So I'm gonna start by doing a group select, select all of it. There's my two leader lines, there's my three auto texts. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna make it a group. Then I'm gonna go to edit and cut it. Now, I wanna come into my scrapbook and paste it in here, so I'm gonna hit edit. That's gonna pull up the layout file that is this scrapbook, remember layout, Scrapbooks are just layout files shown in this little window. And I'm gonna say edit, paste, it's gonna drop it on there. I'm just gonna scoot it right up here. And you can see that number already increased, see that? Remember I was saying that, that uh, that's gonna increase from zero to one the first time we place it? Well, dropping it into the scrapbook counts as the first time we place it. I just scooted that over a little bit while I was talking. All right, looks good. So once I close this window, it's gonna say, do you wanna update th that file? Yes, I do. Updating that file is going to update our scrapbook. It's going to show up, boom, right there. Let's zoom out a little bit. Actually, let's hit the P button so I can see full screen. All right, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to drop it right on top of here. There we go. So after I drop it on there, I can drag it over here. See the leaders tracing back over there? Perfect. Yes, that's what I wanted. So this is now A. It's pointing back to section one, which is the name of this scene, and then the scale is one inch equals 40. Awesome, let's grab the exact same thing, drop it right on here, look what happens. Oh, it's just that easy, look at that. B, section two, one inch equals 30. And as I keep going, if I drop this onto the next page, it's going to come up with C. And if I drop it onto another model window, of course it'll tell me the C and scale, but it automatically goes through and it increases that, that letter by one, it moves forward in that alphabet one time. So there you go, super simple. I know a lot of times you go in here and you go, okay, uh, I don't really like the TB plane, but I'll drop this in and then I'll edit it afterwards, change it. No, don't do that, don't be, you watch my videos, you don't need to be doing silly stuff like that. You got this. So if you want these customized looks, that is how easy it is to use a little bit of auto text and your scrapbooks to make custom elements that you can drop right on your drawing 
over and over and over again. Pretty simple. So I hope you like that because this is one of those things that I remember when I started layout, I was beholden to those scrapbooks. I used only what was in the scrapbooks. And it was probably a couple of years of doing that before I realized that these scrapbooks are just layout files and I can edit anything I want to. Uh, same with auto text. I mean, auto text is just such a time saver if you do learn how to use it and put it in. But uh, yeah, what a great element, what a great tool to have uh, to make your drawings look so good. So if you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them, including our live streams, if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Have you already done this? Uh, did I miss something? Is there a better way to do it? Do you have a question about something else in layout or pretty much anything in the SketchUp universe? If so, tell us about it in the comments. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more if they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.